this video is going to cover the topic of multiplying mixed numbers. Be sure to put your date at the top as well as our topic, multiplying mixed numbers. Our essential question for this video will be, how do we multiply mixed numbers? We already know how to multiply fractions. So what we want to do is take what we know about multiplying fractions and figure out how we can multiply mixed numbers. For example, how would we multiply the following? We want to find one third of two and a half. The first thing I want us to do is just to estimate what we think might be a reasonable answer so that when we work through it, we can know if our answer makes sense. If I take one third of two and a half, I know I'm taking part of two and a half. So my answer is going to get smaller. It's reasonable to assume that our answer will be less than two and a half. I actually think that it's going to be less than even one. I think it's going to be less than one. So let's take a look at it. Here I'm going to model the two and a half that I'm starting with. I have my red section marked off for my one hole, my second hole, and my half. Right? That part's pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to take one third of each of those sections. I'm going to switch colors here and I'm going to mark off a third of each of these. I can see now the parts where my colors overlap, right, that shows the product or the answer to my multiplication problem. However, I also see that these pieces are not the same size as this one. So when I'm combining to figure out my final answer, that's not going to work. I need them all to be the same size. This is a sixth. You can see it's one out of six sections here. So I'm going to just make my other parts sixths as well. Currently they're in thirds, but if I just cut this in half, then I'll have six pieces here as well, so that each of these small rectangles represents a sixth. Now I can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six. My answer is that one third of two and a half equals five sixths. And that matches what I thought would be reasonable. It's slightly less than one whole. This strategy works and it's a good way to model our answer, but it seems really long and be, can be pretty cumbersome. So let's look at a different way. Um, it's a way I prefer and that is using the algorithm. If we have a mixed number or two mixed numbers, um, we can follow almost the same steps we do for multiplying regular fractions. There's just one step we have to do first, and that is to turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions. Once we've converted our mixed numbers into improper fractions, we can then follow the same steps. So we can multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. And of course, our last step would be to simplify if it was needed. Let's try that with our same example of one third of two and a half. My one third is fine as it is, but my two and a half I need to first convert into improper fraction. So two times two is four, plus one is five, and that is halves. So I have five halves. Step two, I'll multiply the numerators. One times five is five. Three times two is six. Step four would be to simplify, but five and six don't share any factors other than one, so I cannot simplify my answer as we saw before, is 5 sixths. It worked. The strategy worked. Let's try a few now and we'll see how you do. Our first practice will be 1 fourth of 3 and 4 fifths. And again, I'm thinking about this before we start. I'm taking part of 3 and 4 fifths. I think my answer should get smaller. I want 1 fourth of a number that's 
almost four, so I'm guessing my answer will be almost one. Go ahead and try our strategy and see how you do. I got 19 twentieths. How'd you do? Let's try another. This time, let's try 3 fourths of 16. Before we start, I noticed that 16 is a whole number. It's not improper. But I think I can do something that will help us out. Any number over 1 does not change its value. So 16 firsts is the same as 16. Now I have this as an improper fraction, and I can continue. How'd you do? Let's try one more. This time, let's find out what one and one-third of one and one-third is. Two mixed numbers, so you'll need to change both of them into improper fractions. How'd you do? There's one more thing I'm going to show you here, and that is a common error that I see a lot with sixth graders. So I'm going to show it to you now, and hopefully we can avoid making this mistake. When given the problem two and one third times two and a half, I often see this answer, four and one sixth. Can you see what it is I did wrong? Did you notice that to get this answer, I just did two times two equals four, and one third times one half equals one sixth? That does not work. We cannot do that. That would be like saying 21 times 32 is 62 because 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 times 2 is 2. We know that's ridiculous, right? And in the same way, we cannot use that shortcut when we're using mixed numbers. So be aware of that, pay attention to that, and make sure you don't fall into that trap. Remember, our essential question was trying to find how to multiply mixed numbers. Hopefully we accomplished that with our video today. We'll have a chance to practice in class.